Okay, so we're here today in my living room to perform a little old school method on my dog Ono to remove some blood from the hematoma that he has in his ear. I couldn't find a lot of videos documenting this and I'm not so certain how it's going to go down. Um, a little freaked out because this is totally weird, but I have studied and studied and I am ready to give my dog some relief and I'm certain that I can make this all possible. Um, first of all, my leeches came from leeches.com and they are medical grade leeches and hopefully they do not carry any type of parasite or anything that could harm my dog. There are recommendations for your dogs to be on antibiotics and people also if you're going to be utilizing leeches because if they regurgitate while they're sucking blood from being distressed such as if the dog flaps his ears and the leech regurgitates, it could actually cause my dog an infection. So you should be aware of that and do your research and studying and if you're not really going to be dedicated to educating yourself then don't do this. Leave it up to a professional. I'm not even certain I should be doing this but we're going for it. Leeches are very expensive. They cost about 20 bucks a piece. Shipping is even more outrageous because you need to have them overnighted. When they arrive they come in like this really weird jelly type of stuff and they're not particularly happy. So you need to get them out and get them into some nice clean water and um, uh, something that is ample enough for them to move around in. I put a rock in there because they shed their skins and just kind of makes it nice for them to be able to get their skins off as they slither by it. I put distilled water in there as a recommendation with some sea salt, a couple pinches of sea salt, just sea salt, nothing with iodine in it. Um, there have been some recommendations for mineral water as well. I don't know what's best. Again, I'm just kind of going by the seat of my pants here and from everything I've been studying, mineral water, I mean uh, distilled water is what we're going to use. Mineral water would have been better actually, but distilled water with a couple dashes of sea salt and <clears throat> I did get some forceps so that I could handle the little boogers because I'm not sure that I really want to be handling them with my hands. Um, I've got like stuff set up here. This is the jar that I'm actually going to put the leech in that I'm going to use because and I'm going to rinse them a couple of times. They say that's good to kind of clean them off before you use them. And it's also going to be the jar that he goes back into when he or she is done because they cannot be reused. Now there's going to be a lot of pe leech people right now screaming at this video. Yes, they can. They're pets. They they're a biohazard. They suck something's blood. You don't want to use them on the same person or animal. You just you have to get rid of them. You have to properly dispose of them. And there's humane ways, and that's all explained online. You can look that up. I'm not going to talk to you about that. I am going to put the little sucker inside this syringe so that when I hold it up to my dog's ear, it will hopefully latch on as it's coming out of there. Um, that's my plan. There's a pair of scissors just in case I need them. There's a bandage with no stick pads. I'll use probably to put on Ono's ear. Afterwards, I can bandage it up because they bleed for 12 to 36 hours because this creates positive blood flow. Um, I can talk to you about why I decided to do this maybe as I'm going here. But anyways, I just got some more gauze, cotton balls. This is an incredible wound cleaner um, to prevent infections. Get it at Farm and Tractor. It's awesome. It's made in America. It's safe for all your pets. You can use it on your horses. It's incredible. The rascal ripped his side open on the fence. I use this a lot to heal him up. This, just because, right? Um, this is Wonder Dust wound powder too. <laughs> Um, after the tick, uh, not tick, excuse me, the leech bites, it's going to continue to bleed. I'm just got this around in case all hell breaks loose. It's a coagulant. I really don't want to coagulate it. That's the whole point of this. The leech actually has anticoagulant in its saliva, which it injects. It's sucking the blood clots out of my dog's ear so it can heal, heal properly with less scarring. So I really don't want to clot it up again, but just in case. All right, rolled gauze. This is that banded shit that sticks to itself. See, it's already a pain in the ass, but it's going to be used for the end of this whole thing when I wrap Ono's head. I have rolled gauze. I have cotton, like more 
bandage that goes going to go over that and then this is some tape more cotton balls all right now the cream of the resistance then we're going to stop this video until i can catch my breath i feel like i should do a couple shots of whiskey here's the boys or girls see ya this is their jar it has to be full of half full of water so that they can crawl up here if they want to you only have to feed them once a year. Um, of course, mine are going to probably be fed all this week. I bought five. I'll use each one on Ono's ear. They suction from both ends. One end they hold on to, and the other end is their mouth. One that's always seeking, like, where's my finger? Right there, that one that's seeking, that's the mouth. That little rock is in there so they can shed their skins. But they have souls, you guys. It's amazing. They actually snuggle with each other, which I thought was odd. And they kind of turn into like a family. There's a girl online who I love and who's totally fat shit crazy. Her name is Tetsy from London. And she's taught me a lot about these through her online videos. But she, um, yeah, she loves them. She takes really good care of them. She has a lot. She's visited farms. You guys should look her up. Anyways, so here's Ono's ear. Oh, rescue boy. And here's Ono's ear. Right now, see how big it is and red and inflamed? We're going to get all that blood out of there with these leeches. We're not going to do it with surgery because the surgery is fucking horrific. If you haven't ever seen it online, look it up and you will understand why. I'm willing to try this other method. And he's a good boy, and he's going to get a cow knee bone while we do this. So, wish him luck. Luck, Deej.